I personally feel that when a person is able to own a beautiful Pranakan kabaya and a beaded shoe, it means that they are able to quietly appreciate this craft, make it as part of their daily lifestyle to wear them. And I really want to see the kabaya to slowly evolve and become part of our Singaporean's lifestyle and wear them whether casually or formally. I've been doing this since 2004 to today and this year will be my 20th year designing and making the Nonya Sarong Kabaya. I'm also a beader enthusiast. I love to do a lot of Pranakan beadwork. I love the Pranakan Kabayas and the Kasut Manik because they are a very good example of fusion fashion and it is very much like our Singapore um, multiracial, multicultural identity where we are all different and diverse but yet we can still come together accepting each other's differences and accept good cultures. Over the past 20 years, I've been working very hard to promote the Pranakan embroidery and beadwork culture to people. In Kim Chu, uh, we conduct beading classes. Uh, for beading classes, we actually would teach them in the form of beaded slippers or in the form of beaded swatches. The whole idea is to encourage more young Singaporeans to understand that uh, the beaded shoes and the Pranakan kabayas they are a form of slow fashion. It takes time, effort and devotion to actually make the Nonya Kabaya. I want customers to be able to appreciate that these garments and the beaded shoes are actually done with a lot of sincerity in it. When students come to take beading classes with us, we want them to experience how challenging it is to do Pranakan beadwork. It is a craft that requires lots of patience and determination. When I use the software to do my designing work, it is supposed to allow the students to sew the beadwork without the issue of having to count the beads every time. I think very few people actually know thoroughly, right, deeply, how to do those things in Singapore. But it is actually part of our roots and our culture, where we came from. I mean, to me, I learn it, or I want to learn it, I would like to learn it because if I learn it, I can pass it on to the next generation, right? Who else is going to do that if people from my generation don't start being more engaged in these sort of crafts and activities? Personally, I feel that the designs are the main emphasis that makes our kabai and the village shoes very different from the other cultural groups. Kionis that represents youth and goldfishes among the lotus pond that represents wealth. So not only these designs are often seen on the kabaya, they are also often found on the beaded shoes too. During our fundraising virtual dinner, uh, I was approached by the association to design a series of kabayas for a fashion show. And I wanted to have a different take, so I made a few changes. Uh, we would make the kabayas which is sleeveless, because we have some Singaporean ladies finding that Singapore is very warm and humid and wearing long sleeves at all times can be quite uncomfortable at times. I try to feature things that I want young Singaporeans to find that, hey, I can wear this, I can wear that. I can mix it with my different wardrobes of clothes. And then with that kind of mentality, they'll find that wearing the kabai will always be relevant to them. So from here, you all can see, uh, even though this one is every flower, but the flower is also not fully embroidered. It's only just zigzag outline and one line zigzag. I'm actually an educator in La Selle, and I'm actually teaching the students in fashion textile faculty on uh, appreciating and executing free motion embroidery and Pranakan embroideries, like the beadwork too. So in class, I try to teach them the basics of free motion embroidery. And through that education, I hope that they can actually apply them, not only to kabayas, but also into their future 
inspiration of their own collection. Personally, I feel traditions are actually very important. When traditions are too strict, too rigid, uh, it becomes extraneous to the lives of the younger generation. And this makes it difficult for the younger generation to perpetuate the culture. I feel that if the students or the designer, if they made an effort to study the culture, appreciate it and evolve it with reasonable respect for the culture, I don't see any problems with them trying to move forward and create new things. By creating new things, it also would mean that this is very representative of their current situation and their current life in this time. I do hope that these young designers would be able to apply the knowledge that is taught to be not only just producing quality products, but also to uphold the cultural identity and integrity of our kabayas and the Peranakan beaded shoes. When I see my customers wear my kabayas, my creations, I feel very proud. It shows that they appreciate my work and the beautiful embroideries on the clothes and on the shoes, that it also reflects their inner beauty at the same time. For me, um, getting these awards, it, it not only means that I've been recognised for my effort, but it means that I have to work harder to document my knowledge and expertise, whether it is the skill set and the cultural side, the meaning, symbolism, so that it could be further used to transmission the knowledge that I have gathered for the past 20 years to the younger generation.